Yo, yo, yo. And a bottle of rum. What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Yes. I am back. Yes. Okay. So here's what's going on, folks. Um, yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Y'all heard that extra yes. All right. So I want to share this out. Do, do me a favor, as you guys all know. Um, I will not be streaming to YouTube um, for a bit, it, it appears. So um, if y'all can do me a super huge favor, um, tweet this out. Tweet this out. Send it to social media. But, you know, whatever y'all can do to help your boy spread the message, I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And like I always say, I appreciate all of y'all straight up. You know what I mean? So let's, let, I'm, I'm going to start getting this out. Let's talk about it. How's everybody doing, man? How is everybody doing? Let me check out the chat. Platinum 706, what's going on, bro? How you doing, man? Good to see you on Mixer. Appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you, bud. Um, let me do this as well. Attention gamers. Gamers. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it is what it is, people. We try and get the message out best way we can. And um, like I said, I appreciate everybody tweeting out. But let me know, for those of you that are listening, let me know what y'all think about what uh, Phil Spencer had to say <laughs> um, in his in his tweet, you know, um, or not Phil Spencer had to say but what he had to say in his in the interview. Um, I, I don't know if you guys have heard it. If you're not, I would highly recommend after this, go ahead, go right ahead. Um, Definitely go right ahead and 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 listen to it on uh, Giant Bomb site, or you can go to YouTube and do so as well. Let me see here. I'm trying to. I apologize here if it seems like I'm distracted. I'm just trying to get. What is this? Copy the clipboard. Okay. I'm trying to get this particular show copied, and it ain't working with your boy. Okay. Snow Bunny, what's up, sweetheart? Thank you for following. So while I got my homegirl Snow Bunny, and if y'all ain't following with Snow Bunny, Snow Bunny, do me a favor and put a link to all your information. Well, no, 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 no. I'm going to do y'all even better yet. I'm going to do y'all even better yet. We're going to go to the PNTS website. That's what I can talk about while I'm getting all this information out. PNTS website is up and running, okay? The new website 3.0 is up and running. We got some featured articles coming. Uh, you know, and some, some partner information coming as well. But the biggest thing right now, the two biggest things is that we have an E3 2019 page and we also have a members page. So one of our members is Bunny and Bunny is just killing it on the scene. Chris being clean, man. Hey, I appreciate that Bunny for the follow in addition. So I'm gonna put Bunny's, um, Members page and support page out here. Miko dad on too. What's up, man? What's going on? Appreciate you. Bunny, Bunny, Bunny's killing it. So that's that's a um, direct link to the PNTS website and her member page. You can go to the home page, like it. Just check out everything on there, man. But our E3 2019 page as well, set aside from our members page, has 20. 4-7 E3 coverage. We got access to the E3 showroom floors via three different channels, the Coliseum, um, and then there's two other channels through that platform as well. Then the stream you can catch right now on the E3 TV channel if you want to, along with a full active chat. And lastly, we have material up from partner sites, homie uh, Dante Crisis, that's part of the Vitamin G podcast, 
Fast Growing Podcast. You can check out his stuff there as well. And along with Next Gen 720, his material, his latest material is out there too. So we got 24-7 E3 coverage. Go to the website. Check out the E3 2019 page. Check it all out. You won't be disappointed. Believe you me. All right, so I got to go back out. And I got to retweet this again. Because <laughs> I'm sitting there copying this and copying that. And it just, just ain't. We are live. Okay. Um, let me go back here. And I will copy this. I just don't like how that looked. But, okay, with that being said, Bunny is on Scram Punk's podcast, okay? And um, she's killing it on Scram Punk's, okay? And one of the biggest things that happened on Scram Punk's last night, and I also recommend that if you didn't see the latest episode of Scram Punk's, that you go ahead and you do that. Uh, Scram Punk's ears on Dirk Griggity's channel. Okay, Dirk Griggity is is the panel host of Scram Punk's. You can check it. You can catch it every Wednesday, 9:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, between 9:30 and 9:45. Um, we understand there's other shows out there, so we might wait a little bit, depending upon you know how traffic is moving and all other stuff. But you can catch it every Wednesday there. You can look up hashtag Scram Punk's for more information on that, particularly on YouTube. All right, it airs on YouTube every Wednesday. 9.30, between 9.30 and 9.45 Eastern Standard Time. So, reason why I'm giving a big shout out to, yeah! Um, leave the link to the to the vid in the channel. You Oh, I got you. What's up, Next Gen 720? What's up, bro? Child of God. He said, lucky, he said, good news. Lucky tells us now going to the Switch. Hey, man. Hey, look, man, the expose is coming, man. This is, this is just a sprinkle of it. This is just a little, little taste of the icing. Yeah, you know I mean, because we got a lot of problems to talk about as far as what was revealed in this interview. And y'all can say R.I.P. Xbox podcast all you want. The R.P. R.I.P. It's dead. It's done. This is this is Windows Gaming, and like I professed last night, I'm not going to dog anybody that likes Windows Gaming. You like Windows Gaming. You like Windows Gaming. I just want to point out some things from a particular instance that may pose an issue to legacy, and I think that's the proper term, legacy Xbox guys, people like me and Next Gen that came to the system because of the AAA hardcore nuanced experiences they brought on a periodic basis. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for tweeting it out, Bunny. I appreciate it. Um, Let me send Next Gen a link too. Hold on one second. Um, And in addition to that, right, we could talk about this whole, um, we might have a special treat. In addition to that, we're going to talk about, um, maybe some of the more positive things that you're going to get from windows gaming. I don't want this to make it seem like that, I, that we're just trying to bash Microsoft. I just wanted to be clear and direct what, what, uh, Microsoft is representing. Mm. They're not representing what they're trying to sell off to everybody. So let me get Next Gen the link so he can join. This will be a special treat if I can move between monitors like I got some damn sense. All right. So let's do this. What the hell's going on? Okay. And blah, 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 blah. I can't find our DM. There we go. All right. I just put it in the I just put it in in a DM Z if you want to join, bro. All right, and I'm gonna have to turn up the volume so the people can hear next gen 720. You know, so you can come on here because you know we all his his integrity is always in question, and it's gonna be even more in question when he come here. <laughs> oh man! All right, so I wanted to talk about Scram Punks a little bit last night because. I keep, oh, I got to keep tweeting this out. Y'all know me. Y'all know y'all boy ain't good with this stuff. All right. So I want to talk about Scram Punks a little bit last night because I got to be honest with y'all. I'm frustrated. And I know that sounds silly. I know that sounds simple. I'm, I'm, I'm upset. I'm a little upset. I'm, I'm perturbed. Okay. Because it's not an easy pill for your boy to swallow. That... Again, 
the leg for the legacy Xbox gamers like myself, like Z, that we no longer have a preferred platform. Well, you know what I'm saying? Or, or our preferred platform is now excommunicate is if that's how they say it uh, off of John Wick or, or, or elsewhere. It's gone. And it's now transformed to this new platform. So I was upset about that. And in my anger, because I, I, I can keep it real with y'all. In my anger, I kind of lashed out a little bit last night. And I lashed out on somebody that didn't deserve it. Now, who am I talking about? If you was watching Scram Punks last night, I had a little, I, had, I got a little snippy with the homie um, King Thrash in the chat. King Thrash has always been a big supporter of the show. He's there as soon as the show drops. He did not deserve what I said, and I and I apologized to him for it. And he's like, I'm not worried about it. But the point that I was trying to make that I didn't make properly is that and I'm going to say it better this time around. I think this is this is a time for us. Yo, Z, what's up, bro? What's good, bro? What's good? You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, all right. We, we can good. all hear you, too. I was just all saying, right. your, your, your homie Thrash, <laughs> he, he he was on the, well, he wasn't on the panel, but he was in my chat last night on the, on the yes, podcast. Uh -huh. And I'm not, I got, I can't lie to you, Z. I'm a little, I'm, 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 I'm fucked up over this. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset over the C3. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. So he was he was just joking around in the chat and I lashed out at him. I said, it's because of people like you. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But the overarching point that I'm trying to make is I I I would like people in the community to stop saying Xbox would never do this or Sony would never do this because it looks like all these companies might be heading in a direction that may not favor old school gamers like you and I, even though I think Microsoft is making a harder pivot than anybody else. You know what I'm saying? So what, and you talked about that a little bit in your, in your podcast yesterday that you did with crap gamer, you know what I'm saying about, are mm -hmm. we guilty of this? You know what I'm saying? What are your thoughts on that? Do you, do you think that now that we see where these game companies are going, should we be a little bit more careful with our message? Um, where they're going, right? Um, yeah. Uh, shout out to everybody that, that viewing. That's crazy. I was looking for the show on um, YouTube. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, you're over here now. Uh, we talk about that when we, when we finish. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, let me say this. Let me mute myself in the background. Mm -hmm. I'm coming through, Claire. Yeah, you good, bro. You good. Um, I, 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 it's, it's this, right? When it's all said and done, like you said, when this fragile heart of mine can beat no more, mm -hmm. I just hope I gain for belief or principle that I once lived for, right? Yeah. Now, that's a lot of what I'm saying in, 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 in just, right? Is that outside of no ads crap you know i mean don't get me wrong mm -hmm. we kind of created uh he said an echo an echo chamber right yeah how you say hindsight is 2020 20. when you sit back and you you know um look at the situation i'm not gonna i'm gonna say a lot here but this will all come back to what you just asked me right yeah exactly um created something at this echo chamber right and like I asked him off the air, and you know, um, do you feel guilty? How you say of this new age mm -hmm. Xbox game or community thing that's going on? Because now I'm seeing people praising things, you know, like you know, like this shit is crazy to me. You know what I mean? You know, exactly. exclusives like again, exclusives don't matter. <laughs> you know, you know, Microsoft's gonna make this amount of money if they put it everywhere. And 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 I said this again. I said this last year, a year and a half ago. It's dangerous. When you guys are out there praising them, mm -hmm. or you know, you know, patting them on the back, because I'm not wrong. I know it's a business, but they made 2.5 billion dollars or whatever they made in profit without giving us anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this last E3 is a true testament to that. You know what I mean? Um, they had a showing for two hours, or an hour and a half, however long it was, and all we got was Gears, Forza, and, and Halo again. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so. In hindsight, when you step back and you look at this, and and you, and you know you know step outside the character, whoever you are, the deals, the coats, the moots, the craps, whatever, right? And if you're gonna be honest, you know what I mean? Like, what the fuck is going on here? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like I said, I had my epiphany 
um, I think it was E3, you know, uh, Gamescom 2017. You know, people took it and made funny jokes about it. No, it was funny. I take back, but people really thought I was bugging, like, you know, bugging the fuck. You, you know, were just like, doing you know, it for clicks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I was dead ass. Like, yeah, that exactly. was a, a meltdown. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, and because again, because I, I had another E3, wasn't really impressed. And then, you know, that, you know next year with the games come. Yeah. Then with, with the games come <laughs> to which the Tokyo game show. You remember that? You know what I mean? Uh, but again, so, you know, this new regime and what's going on. Like, you know, I've always said this, too. I wasn't um, a big fan of Phil being promoted to the vice president of gaming. Mm-hmm. And now, mm-hmm. again, I know I get called being a Donnie D fanboy, right? Yep. And, you know, and I, you know, it's crazy, right? I, mean, I remember me going back and forth with D and talking about how Phil Smith single-handedly saved the Xbox division. And I had, you know, like, like, fine, okay, I understand Phil's, but he's a jolly good fellow. Exactly. What, what game has Phil given you to make you sing his praise? Then we got to hear about the Terry Myerson, and he had to go and clean up the PR. He had to fix the <laughs> the, the the resolution narrative and the 1080p. Mm-hmm. Son, all that's well and good. And, and you say tomato, I say tomato. What game has he given you? Yeah. Well, you know what? They had a restraint. You're telling me that a trillion dollar company, whatever they were, didn't have money to make games? Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. All right. But they got money for controllers. Uh, a diabetic controller, a handicap controller, <laughs> a controller for the blind, all that. Listen, I get it. All that's great. And I'm not, they should do things like that. But what about for the streets? Yeah, know what exactly. I mean? yep. and, yeah, bro, and even, bro, you remember when I, I don't know if he was on the show, when I asked Phil, what's up with the art style of these games, the direction, right? Mm-hmm. And Phil has a, uh, like I was talking to crap behind the scenes, he, Phil has a unique way of throwing you on the bus oh, yeah. and acting like, you know, or throwing a rock in the hot in his hand. Yeah. I asked him, I asked, I sent him that tweet early in the morning, right? Mm-hmm. Early in the day, right? And I'm never, I'm a, this, is, this is me being up early now. I, I only get up to about three, four o'clock. And I said to him, I was like, uh, you know what I mean? What's up with the art style of the game? You know what I mean? Like, you know, everything's, you know, Nick at night. These, you know, the same games that we're getting, right? Exactly, yeah. And he said it was just by chance, you know. Uh, you know. Oh, it was coincidence. Uh, it was coincidence. But, 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 but even in that, he chose to answer me as soon as I was live because I was showing my tweets. And well, as we show my tweets on the show, mm-hmm. he answered me. And then, like he said, you know, the, you still forget that guy next to Jenny's talks, you know, you know, the back is that and the other, right? Mm-hmm. Not that I care. You know, I can give two, two shits, right? But I said to say this, so we look at the art style of the games that they're releasing, right? All this one thing. Then you look and you even brought this to my attention when they did the, the interview with the guy from Rare, right? Exactly. And he said it was easy for them to transfer over to mobile, whatever the case may be. Looking at the art style of the games and what they're doing. And I'm sitting back scratching my head like either A, I, I took it away. Microsoft lost their identity. They no longer realize what they core want. No, I think they know what we want. It's just they, they refuse. They, they don't care. Yeah, so I I, can't, I used to say why they no longer know what their core wants, and yeah, I used to say the Nintendo fit caters to their core, and Sony caters to their core. Microsoft know what their core wants mm-hmm. is that they refuse to go out and do it because again they're making so much money giving us nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. So that's where it is in all sites 2020. Like they don't care. Like I'm so far removed for it, and some people may say, you know what, they'd never do that. Bro, I didn't had that meltdown already. You can tell me tomorrow that Gears of War will be on the PlayStation, whatever. And Matt Booty was my just another interview. And he was saying they asked him about Forza, and he said, "What's well, basically not up to us? It's up to, you know, they allowed it. And they, they want their stuff everywhere. You know, I mean, when that in itself, when we say every, we used to say, well, we were talking about mobile, or you talking? No, we're talking about competing consoles. Mm-hmm. Well, and they used to say, well, you know what? They, if, 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 if I can get Gears on the on the PlayStation Four or PlayStation Five. I don't need an Xbox. Exactly, uh, yeah. But here's the thing. I keep telling you guys, or, you know, and even Phil, you, what's the beginning in the interview he did with the MSB and C, about this, this goal was I to sell you another box. Their money is not made from them, you buying a box. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter to them. It's, you know what I mean? They lose money actually spice selling the box, right? They want uh, their software and services everywhere. You know what I mean? Even so, don't get me wrong. Sony's going to do the same thing. I don't know if Sony's going to, Take the drastic route of putting the games natively yeah. on rival consoles, but as far as you having access to those games on PC, mobile, and you know tablets or phones, it's coming. You know what I mean? So, 
it's not for us anymore. You know, my somebody said to me, well, no, what, what gaming is not for the, you know, you guys are in your 40s, your 50s, your 30s. I'm like, nah, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? like shit, but I, I, you know what I mean? But it's, it's, and how you say, it's a new dawn. Mm-hmm. It's a new day, man. You know what I mean? Exactly. I, I don't, I don't, you know what, that, that whole comparison where they be like, oh, you old ass gamers, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all cab, y'all taxi cab gamers. No, nobody care what y'all think. The industry is made up of people. The, like the people that make your Uncharted, your Gears, they're people our age, Z, or older. So this whole notion that you can completely ignore us totally, I think, is a farce. I do understand where they're coming from, where they want to set a set groundwork for, you know, streaming that's going to be more popular with the kids, and you've laid down everything on why it makes sense financially for them. But I don't think people understand that we don't give a fuck how much money they're making. We care about the product that they put in our hands, right? So if Microsoft is making $45 billion in a quarter, what does that matter in the grand scheme of things if I still don't like their lineup? And I guess, and, and, th- and thank you, uh, oh, oh, that's not a GZ calling the thing. Um, I think what people are losing, and as we, I'm, I'm, what I'm a doozy, if you don't mind, is I'm going to mm. interview you over this interview. I'm going to bring you different points of this interview and get your thoughts on what was. Mm-hmm. Did you see the giant bomb interview? Did you see it? Yet? I'm just waking up. I'm hearing about it. I heard okay. he says about Iron Wolf or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 I think he, and that's what's crazy. So in part of the interview, Iron Wolf, I guess, had reached out to, to, to um, Phil. And I could be wrong. It could be a different Iron Wolf. But I, the way it sounded, it sounded like the Iron Wolf that used to, you know, rock out on the GST. And he asked Phil about Fantasy Store Online, asked him some questions. And Phil gave him a shout out or a mention on this Giant Bomb interview. And to me, again, nothing against Iron Wolf. I don't know this motherfucker. But I'm just saying, like, what about shout outs to people like you or me that or actually buying your product and your services that have donated so much money into it. How about answering our questions and being straightforward with them? Y'all are doing shit for Rare. You're doing shit for Nintendo. You're doing shit you know for everybody why? else but us. You, you know why? Because we're asking them the hard questions. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And shout out, shout out to Wolf. Um, you know, Wolf, you know, Wolf is, likes fantasy star, whatever the case. Yeah, yeah. So right now, them him, hey, 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 it's like me saying, hey, man, Phil, man, that battle tool looks awesome. But mm-hmm. I just, if I just said him a tweet like that, yeah. you best to believe he just said, he just said that, or you know, what I mean, whatever, you know, whoever yeah. he just said that in his interview. You know, the fact that I Wolf again. Oh, you went out. Hello. Uh oh. Z. Uh oh. Oh shoot, he done went out. Okay, till he comes back, phases back. In. Oh, okay, all right. You went out for a second. What was what was it? Did you oh, just say? Yeah, you phased out for like ten oh, seconds. Oh, oh no, I said the fact that. Oh wow, got damn it, Google Hangouts. <laughs> I said, um, <laughs> I said um, the fact that you know, I mean, he asked him a, a favorable question. You know what I mean? Uh, something you know, fantasy star. Like I said, had it you know had it been me or as someone asking him. Or, you know, I'd, I'd have been like, you know, thank you, Phil, you know, for bringing Battle Tools back, whatever the case may be. Or thank you for putting those Banjo Kazooie characters on the Switch or whatever they're, they're on, you know. Mm-hmm. They're here to answer that question. You know, what I mean? you know exactly. if someone ever, yeah. if I even ask him a hard question, he wouldn't, have, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like he kind of avoids those, like, you know what I mean? But like I said before, I, I uh, you know, that Phil's a nice guy. He's a great guy and cool. I'm not negating any, maybe he is, but as far as what we like, I know I got a question. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. I got a question for you. Uh huh. You know I get called the Donnie D fanboy, right? Yeah. I, yeah. I need to get some t-shirts made up. I'm a Donnie D fanboy, right? <laughs> get on it, man. Yeah. Uh, um. I know I get you know called a Donnie D fanboy, right? Yeah. And in hindsight, hindsight is 2020, right? Mm-hmm. Who would you rather? I'm not saying Donnie D didn't have his flaws, his mm-hmm. mistake. Who would you rather have? Oh, Donnie right? D, hands down. Mm-hmm. Don- Donnie D, hands down. Z, and I'd rather have Donnie D, hands down because. At the end of the day, uh, big up to Vector 60409 for the father. I appreciate it, man. Um, I got to get you on here more often, Z. Uh, <laughs> with that being said, um, here's why. I think we're doing the wrong thing. And when I say we, I mean the gaming community all together. We, we look at our favorite platforms and we cheer them on like sports teams. Yeah. Instead of looking at them like consumers. Like when I cheer a sports team, 
I'm cheering the entity no matter how well they do. Oh man, they had a fucked up season. They didn't do good in the draft. Oh well, better you know, better luck next season. But when I'm a consumer, I care about the quality of the product. I don't give a fuck what y'all doing in y'all boardrooms, what you did on on uh uh only one arm day or something. I don't care about that. I just care mm-hmm. about what games you're putting in my hands. So when you look at the top, hey, well, hey, 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 I'm sorry, boss. Hold on, let me cut this promo for your channel. Oh, listen, guys, join me live right now. I'm live on uh, Twitch right now. I'm having a, a great conversation, a one on one with Mighty Moss. We're talking about the giant bomb interview. Click the link down below. The link. You got to click the link down below. I'm going to leave it down below in this video. Come right now. Come join. Uh, the conversation we're having a great one on one. We're talking about uh, Phil E3, you know, this giant bomb interview. Maybe some, you know, pro Xbox guys trying to change the narrative and not addressing the issue at hand. Join us live right now. You're not going to want to miss this one on one. Yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, wait, wait, where's the record button? I can't, I can't see what this damn uh, There we go. Man. Let me upload this to YouTube for you. Let me get the link to your channel. Okay. You, you, you need, okay, you got the link, right? I might to get the link. You know, you didn't put the link in your video. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I just fixed that. I just fixed that. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you pointed that out. Now, while you're doing that, I, I appreciate that, Z. Thank you. Thank you. Um, no problem. I, See, I, Z gives me food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, so, Don, again, to your point. Donnie D's body of work ain't perfect. Whose work ain't perfect? Even when we look at the great Peter Moore, Peter mm-hmm. Moore brought us the best lineup, but he did yeah. it at a heavy I think cost. Of all, between him and Robbie Batch, yeah, probably yeah. About the best that Microsoft had. Got, got but like I said, you. But I'm just saying. And, and, but I will give. This is what I mean by give Donnie D. I understand that Donnie D may have canceled some games, right? But we're not going to talk about Killer Phil and what yeah. happened with him. Yeah. But I understand you may have you know, canceled some games, and I understand it. Uh, so on the tail end of. The Xbox generation, the 360 generation. Uh, I don't know if that because they was preparing for the following generation. Man, I was he kind of like exit stage left, and mm-hmm. just you know what I mean. Whether he got pushed, we need someone needs to interview. I need to reach out to him on Twitter. Yeah. Um, who, who, uh, you talking so, about Peter Moore? No, Donnie D. Donnie D. Um, oh, okay. You know, because you know, if you look at the tail end of the 360s generation, it was connect, 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 and uh, business wise, it broke all types of um, records and. That's what extended that console generation. Remember when they launched the Connect? It was like a relaunch of the goddamn Xbox 360. Yeah. That would really put the Xbox on the map. You know, bigger than Halo, bigger than Gears. It was the goddamn launch of the Connect. You got grandmothers and them playing just that. You know the things, you know the, the fad that was going on mm-hmm. uh, around. What's, I believe it was 2010. You know what I mean? Um, so that was like you know the reemergence, like you know re-ser- re-relaunching of the Xbox 360. Um, and we didn't get, we was kind of back down to just Gears, Fours, and Halo, you know what I mean? We had all these unique, ex, you know, exclusive at the start of generation, but then throwing the tail, and that's how somebody was, was able to catch up. We was back down to Gears, Forza, and Halo, and, you know, just dance and the, that pop stuff. But at the start of the generation, whether you like these games or not, we, you know, that's, you know, subjective, but they came out with, you know, Rise, this, you know, all these other games, you know what I mean? You know, they said they invested $1 billion in games. So, I'm saying, you know, Donnie left in 2014. Phil's been in charge since the least pu- has been publicly mm-hmm. known as the head figure. It probably happened before. They've been publicly known as the head figure. I believe it was about March or April of 2014, right? Yeah. And, I, I, again, what game has he given us? You know, like... Mm-hmm. You know, like I'm, um, you know, like we'll take the we'll take the connect out the box. I mean, that was a no brainer. You know what I mean? That was a misstep. You know, they sacrificed. You know, you know the, the hard sacrifice the specs of your console yeah. to include a peripheral. It was hundred dollars more expensive than your competitor. Mm-hmm. You know that you know they Donnie dropped the ball with that, or even him saying, you know, we got a console for you. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's not what you say is how you say it, right? Like I can see that when it came down to Microsoft messaging, mm-hmm. even now it's still they like trip over their feet, right? But one thing I like I said I give Donnie D is that he got the value of the box. Exactly. You know what I mean? And what talked you know to me or, or to the hardcore guys where he didn't want to took Halo and and, and and Halo and Gears off PC and Fable or PC and hey, we saw we saw on the we saw on the box here mm-hmm. and left them exclusive to the box, you know. That was his call. And again, he Donnie made them a lot of money. Uh it has expanded more since Phil's been there, but you know I mean Donnie was the one that put the ads on the marketing play. That was most his brainchild, you know what I mean? But again, as far as making Microsoft money, Phil has succeeded that, you know what I mean? But again, putting things everywhere and not giving us nothing, 
more or less not doing the the uh the third party deals with exclusive content that saved a boatload of money you know what i mean and you know uh you know the, the, whatever these play activists like 45 to 50 million dollars for the exclusive time you know so they deal the different deals that they had in place no more of that no more more or steam console less steam console that we got I believe it was the Gears of War one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but before that, I can tell you the last one we had before that, maybe a Forza Horizon two, mm-hmm. uh, or something, or Forza Horizon one. You know what I mean? No, you Forza Horizon two. I'm sorry, I believe it was the last one or more. Whatever Horizon, I'm sorry, whatever Forza one. I, I think we might have been Motorsport. I'm sorry, they had the theme. It was the old uh, Xbox one, the fat one, had exactly. made the car yeah, sound. Yeah. It was like earlier, to- yeah, earlier towards launch, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So, but again, so. Well, here's uh, what happened with that, Z. Um, I mean, and let me know what your thoughts are on this. I, in particular, I, you know, I game on PC. I've always talked to you behind the scenes. See, you got that powerful ass PC and you're like, well, shut the fuck up. But uh, anyway, I still try, wait, right? Wait, I fucked up, boss. Hold on. I got to cut this promo again. Okay. I hit the record, but I couldn't see oh. it. I hello. <laughs> That's okay. Um, okay, I got it now. Let me see. All right, hold on. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't had my coffee yet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, listen, join me live right now. I'm live. I'm on Twitch. I'm back on Twitch. I'm talking. I'm having a one-on-one with my man, Mighty Moss, and we're talking about the the the, the Phil Spencer's Giant Bomb interview, um, different things he pointed out, highlighted. Uh, we're talking about different narratives. A whole, talking about E3, you know, like a, a whole list of topics. Join us live right now. Click the link down below. Come on over. Join the chat. And um, you know, we have, you know, we rocking, man. So come catch us live right now. We having a great conversation, a great one on one, man. So yeah, I got it right this time, boss. I the cool button now. <laughs> <That's big all. laughs> there you go, sir. Okay. I, I got my coffee right here, bro. I, I, yeah. I got you. I can't even function. I can't even blink without my shit, man. Yeah, I I got it. Now I got it. All right. So, so yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, you no, no. You 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 good. No, no, I'm good. No, ask me a question now. I'm good. No. Here's my thing, though. I like, like me particularly, I can game on multiple platforms, like with PC, and then I can even, you know, game on my phone. Where you might not want to do that. I don't, th- I don't think it's so much that Phil isn't valuing the box. I think if you look at it from five thousand feet, as I like to say, I don't think that he values people. That even game on the box, not the box alone. Like if you do history and you look at past articles where he talks about some of the complaints that people that game primarily on a box have, he refers to them as fanboys that they only like competition to beat other people down. Like he, I, he, it's like he has a disdain for mm. console gamers. Um, do you think I'm going <laughs> overboard with that, or did you? Nah, the same you know thing? what, man, bro. I, I listen. I, all, all I can do is judge a man. I say more or less by his actions, yeah. man. And he, I, when he was saying, like, you know, the console war, like to me, that that wasn't just being realistic because mm-hmm. it's always going to be a console war. I think the the the, the, the narrative is going to change. Who got the better console? Who has the better service? That's just the the nature in man to mm-hmm. always want that thumbnail exactly. chest and validate their purchase. If you think I'm lying, go to the Mercedes Benz versus BMW forms or Chevy uh, versus Dodge and shit. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, <laughs> bro, you know what I mean? Or, or look at any other community uh, in this on YouTube whether down the garden who's blacker decker is better than this. Like I, I bullshit you not. Mm-hmm. It's a, a form, it's a community for everything. And Marvel versus DC, I mean, you know, DC yeah. versus Marvel yeah. or Blue a Blu-ray versus AC DVD, <laughs> you know, the Hodge Touch 2000 versus, you know, <laughs> you know, like that's it is what it is. You know what I mean, but again, to me, that's not being realistic because mm-hmm. even though I understand that we the hardcore or, you know, that are our numbers, like, you know, 25 to, to one, mm-hmm. but it's us that goes out there and buy your final yeah, account. And, and really drive the mind share behind yeah, it, too. You know, you know, you know what I mean? I always say this, like when they built these phones, right? Now, now, Microsoft wants to have this phone approach, but when they built these phones, they're building them with capabilities that only the hardcore are going to use. These casual motherfuckers that buy these phones don't use all these capabilities, but it's us saying, oh, look, you can do this, do this, do all that. That translates to the um, casuals. And then the casuals say, oh, well, I got to go get that because that's the latest and greatest. And I think that's the part that Microsoft is, 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 writing out of their whole prescription on moving forward 
with Mindshare and actually pushing this shit. They don't have us on board. And without us, without us on board, I don't know how successful this will be. What do you think about that? Um, Here's the thing, right? The, the truth, the whole truth, so help me cradles, right? Mm-hmm. I've said this a year and a half ago, unless something drastically changes, unless Sony comes out, the, out of their gate and get cocky and, you know, and shoots itself in the foot, right? Yep. The X or whatever it's going to be called, the, the successor to the X, because, uh, you know, they got this way of saying we're no longer dealing with generations, right? Yeah. It's going to sell less than, um, uh, what do you call it? It's going to sell less than what we have here. Because, again, I no longer need to buy a new console to play a Halo, Gears, and Forza. I can keep what I got, right? Yeah. And people, you know, we could say they want the best-looking graphics, but if Microsoft's number one-selling console was the $200, uh, you know, Xbox One S, and same thing with, with Sony, you know, uh, the pro, if you're just comparing the pro versus the X, the pro kicked the shit out of X in sales, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, Sony's number one seller is not the pro, it's the slim. So, you know, they're not going to care about, so even going to the next generation, if you're giving people a lesson of incentive to again to buy your box. And he said himself, our success is not measured on the number of boxes that we sell, yep. you know, about the software and services. So, um, you know, that's why I look at like maybe they're going to, okay, what he said, because Phil says a lot of shit and <laughs> no, never comes to fruition. You know what I mean? Exactly. They're going to look at it like, damn, they, they, we, we sold 40 million in this generation. Maybe next generation, we, we may sell 25, I mean, exactly. 25 million. Yep. Is it really cost if it's for us to keep, to keep putting out these console? You know what I mean? And, and you know what I mean? Because we're talking about you know, a couple of billion dollars to invest in new chips and R&D, and then you got tariffs, and you got shipping and handling and just mm-hmm. making you know, making the console. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And I get it. And I get it, Z. I get it that they may have that approach where they're trying to slim back on the console because they're not, they're not hardware manufacturers like Sony. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sony got good third-party vendor deals because they, do, they, they make a lot of parts and all of the shit. So I get it. Whenever... Sony makes a system or makes anything, they're going to get a better deal on it just because of the business deals they have established over decades and decades. Um, big ups to Seaway for following the channel. I appreciate it. With that being said, um, I get where you want to deliver to multiple places, but you got to give value to every platform that you're on. And I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to ask you about this and then we can get straight into the, the interview. And one of the things that I have lined up for a future show is another thing that you may want to check out is Aaron Greensburg did an interview with Jeff Keighley. I don't know if you saw that. Um, and in that interview, Z Aaron Greensburg said, you know what? Uh, big up to Mac dad on too for following the channel. I appreciate you, bro. Um, one of the things that he said, Z to Jeff, that was revealing to me, and I didn't get a chance to talk to you about oh, it. Oh, hold I'm, on a second. Hey, Sean, I'm on, I'm on Mighty Mall show. My bad, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in the live. I'm, in the, I'm, I'm inside the live thing. I'm on Moss's uh, channel right now. He hopped in the Discord. He hopped in the Discord. He hopped in the Discord. Oh, in the Discord. Not... <laughs> um, uh, I'm sorry. But yeah. my question for you, Z. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here's what he said. Mm-hmm. Aaron Greensburg said to Jeff Key- Keeley, you know what? We hear a lot of people complaining or talking about value to the console. And we want to add value to the console. We have this program called a uh, big up, big up to Snake Doctor three one three for following the channel. So the, Aaron Greenberg and and Microsoft's version of getting giving value to the console was they said we're going to give value to the console. We have this program called All Access, where you can buy Game Pass, um, Xbox Live, and you can get a console, um, and, and you can finance that. And that's how we're going to give value to the console. And we're like, what the f-? I'm sitting there like, what the fuck? I don't care about finance, no Xbox. I want shit to play on the Xbox. <laughs> so, so this is this is their theory. And like you said, they do a lot of double speaking to try to sound nice on the mic. You know what I mean? But what, what, what are your thoughts about that, about their impressions of how they want to give value to the console? Um, And their eyes, again, is what they're trying to put the best, how you say, the software and services. But I don't even say software, but services, you know what I mean? And then, you know, features and stuff on the box. And not so much, like I said, we're in games. Because you think it's always, it's always a game mode. This game in itself goes about games. 
and you look about look at what the, the content they've been giving us so it can't be from that aspect maybe they're looking to have xcloud or to be the best streaming platform service out there to take your most you know what i mean you know games everywhere that you go you know what i mean maybe that's for them you know what i mean mm-hmm. having access to you know game pass and put which i will say game pass is getting a lot better you know what i mean yeah. uh with the, with the content they add you know, then with xcloud and maybe with xbox live as far as that we'll say you know what the box has value but from the first party or first you know party perspective the shit that they're putting out you know um even to the demo i'm sorry the memo that i had i never got a chance to run and doing a video about it mm-hmm. maybe i will maybe i won't um is that you know they they um talking about with them hiring all these third party you know i'm sorry hiring all these small developers right mm-hmm. and they're saying they're looking for a team of 50 to 100 people that can put out we see them only once a city every three months they wouldn't have a game a new game out in game pass right yeah. but that's they're not talking about triple a games ladies and they're talking about the double a games the bleeding edges the games like bambi simulator and stuff like that uh and even looking at the studios that they acquired you know i mean it was, that's not really their forte you know uh you, you say, I'm not saying. No, well, here's the thing. You look at what, what's called uh, Ninja Blade. What's the Hellblade, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, very pretty game, but it's not a triple A game. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. It, it, you know what I mean? Bleeding Edge, another one. You know. And I was thinking from the mind, say, you know what? Now they got the back end of Microsoft. See what they're going to do. Nah, you keep giving us these bleeding edges and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So we can put it in, maybe keep people. It'll catch a few people, and then they keep making money for us, right? Mm-hmm. Um, then you, like I said, you got full. You know, then you got uh, what is it? The Coalition. Uh, not the coalition, the initiative. I don't know what they're going to do. You know what I mean? Um, don't know. They can talk a good one. Quadruple A, now they saying they want to see small and agile. Uh, and then you, <laughs> you got, see that okie doke, not to cut you off. Yeah, but I don't bullshit. understand how people follow them on faith when they're always changing up their style, man. Yeah, but then you, even when they came out of nowhere, it's Psychonauts, right? Yeah. They, they, bought, they got the Psychonaut. I forgot the name of the developer, right? Yeah. That the um, game was um, already um, slated five. to, double it was already slated to come out um on uh the PlayStation 4 Microsoft spent 13 million dollars to buy back the buy back the publishing rights yeah. right mm-hmm. and still put it on the PlayStation 4 exactly. you know what I mean wow. so wow that in itself again speaks in value they don't know and then we keep going saying the same thing over and over again but some people still don't get it they still have the mindset now wait to e3 2020 and you know the e3 2020 maybe they maybe they will show fable then right yeah um all right so you're gonna we're back to the same four we're back to gears mm-hmm. forza mm-hmm. halo and now and fable. not fable and, we don't and know i'm not fable's gonna come out yeah you know if they saw it next year maybe come out in 2020 i mean 2021 whatever the case may be but now we're back to because it was always the stable four of gears forza mm-hmm. halo and fable right it was always the four but they didn't expand on that, right? Yeah. So again, we now we're back to the four, the four main thing. All right, we give you guys a fable. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and, and, you exactly. know what I mean? We ain't got nothing else after that. You know? I can't exactly. that's what's gonna be the next one. You wanna probably see this should them show finally showcase fable. You know what I mean? They are working on it. That I can't say if it doesn't get canned along the way, but they're gonna finally show fable, and then you know, we're back to getting the stable four. Well, hey, again, when you're looking at what you know, I mean, well, you can like these games. I'm gonna say this. Whether you like these games or not, you know, they, you know, they Sony gets used for the one and duns or the walking simulators, right? But in my opinion, to have what you call a, a successful generation, you need one new staple IP, right? Mm-hmm. Nintendo did it with Splatoon, right? Uh, you know, I don't know how the hell nothing to me understand what I was trying to say. They tried to argue me down, but that shit did. Like, they don't, but you, they don't look, it's, it's a cartoony game. <laughs> uh, bro, I'm talking about for them, it's big for them. Exactly. Whether you like this game or not, Nintendo, I'm sorry, Sony did with Horizons or with Dawn. Mm-hmm. They did it with Spider Man. Well, Spider Man's not technically a new IP. Like, come on here. Now. Uh, but they did it with Horizons or with Dawn. Uh, even though the Ghost of Tsushima's not out yet, but mm-hmm. we, you know, that looks, looks to be huge for them. You know what I mean? So you got the Ghost of Tsushima, you got Horizons or with Dawn. You got uh, what else? You know, whether some people some people like Days Gone or not. Uh, I was talking to Crap Crash and something very telling. He said Days Gone probably want to be one of his as of late probably one of Sony's lowest rated exclusives, mm-hmm. but it's still better than anything we had a box in about four years. Yeah, that in itself again that, speaks that, values. You know telling. what I mean? Yeah. You know, so again, so you know, and then again, we just back to Gears, Force, and Halo, and then you get the rest of the little straight to can, can, just to cut you. I, I'm yeah. sorry, not, not no, just to cut you, but just. To extenuate what you just said, if my number, if the number that I have in my head is correct, between four years, 
there's been about a billion dollars thrown out from Microsoft, right? To a- acquire these LLCs, like you like to say, right? You're trying to say with this billion dollars that's been put out in four years, we still don't have a game that's better than Days Gone. That's Sony's lowest rated game. If they, Just think about that, y'all. Everybody that's listening, whether you're listening live or on demand, think about that. Microsoft threw out about a billion dollars to acquire these LLCs. But with that billion dollars being thrown around to all these development studios and all this other shit, we don't have one game that's better than Sony's lowest rated first party game. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Bro, listen. I, I, I listen. I remember when I started this conversation a few years ago. I said maybe, maybe Microsoft was just not as talented, right? Yeah. You know, fine. Yeah. Microsoft strong suit. They've always had the deep pockets to go out there and buy up content. Stick to what you got at, right? Mm-hmm. It is with a shot to fifty one people watching this live spur the moment. Appreciate it. Thank you. You yes. know what I mean? Um, follow my man most. We'll be here rocking, right? Um. So with that being said, so you always had, as far as that, right? Now, let's think outside of that, right? Now, like I said, now I'm about to put my ten four hat on, right? How about this, most? You look at, I right, play this for the, with outside of, um, let me see, outside of the quantum break again in gears and fours, you know, in four, I mean, then fours and Halo, right? Name on you know, your hand the exclusive that Microsoft released. Oh shit! Uh, we got uh, Recore. Recore. What else? Uh, goddamn Sea of Thieves. Oh come on, I got you right here. Recore. Mm-hmm. You got Phantom Dust with the original assets. Uh, Disney Rush, Zoo Tycoon, Lucky Tales, mm-hmm. Sea of Thieves, State of the K Two, Crackdown Three. Yep. Um, what else is coming? Did I miss anybody? Uh, okay. No, those it. eight games, right? Mm-hmm. I, I said outside of Gears, Four, and Halo. Right? Those eight games. What does those eight games have in common? The art style, They're, very, yeah. very. Nick at night is right. Yeah. <laughs> I say this now. Maybe I got my tinfoil hat on, but I think Microsoft is going to be this uh, again. We talking mm-hmm. about the global brand of Microsoft, not really wanting to push anyone off, any parents off. Mm-hmm. That they're going to do that preteen, right outside of Nintendo type stuff. Mm-hmm. And so you look at the arsenal of the games that they're pushing out, right? And yeah. then you're going to get, you know, they're going to more or less lean on third party to deliver them or to deliver them. Uh, yeah. like kind of like Sony depends on third party to handle the, the multiplayer. Yeah. Void for them, you know, whether it's the you know the duties, the battlefield, just that Microsoft is going to lean on third party to you know deliver the more realistic games or how you say the more mocap, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because that's bleeding edge. I'm sorry, I forget about that one. If you look again, look at the art style. Look at nothing's realistic. It should even look at Halo. Mm-hmm. You know, I, you know, I'm not a big Halo guy, you mm-hmm. know, but even looking in, in, at that, mm-hmm. bro, it speaks in volumes to what this company is doing. You know what I mean? And I, a lot of people are still, I don't know. They're in doubt. The, yeah, doubt. Denial. Denial. Yep. I don't know if they like some other crap, so they're stuck in this echo chamber. Mm-hmm. But the writing is on the wall, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say this, too. It speaks in values when you got this guy such as myself who made the moniker. He said, yes. quote, unquote, bleed green, be the behemoth you are. Yes. Half and, of the shit that they're talking, they got from you. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, and again, some of my, my, the, the best at some of the damage control, right? And mm-hmm. McCradles, forgive me for my sins, right? When you got someone like me, and this, this again was very telling. When you got someone like me, and not saying some guy said I had a Jesus Christ complex, you sort of guy, mm-hmm. I don't even believe in Jesus. Now, you, <laughs> you know, you should have known about that, that I played in Cradles <laughs> three times a day, and, and I've been here, Sony, the, the king of the north. So I'm with the, that was Mike Dubois' sock account, man. I'm yeah, like, I don't know. You, you got a <laughs> next shit. Who are you? You got a Jesus complex. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about me. I don't give a fuck about you. Like, I, I, like, I don't even believe in Jesus, right? Yeah. But again, I'm sorry. I started to say this, right? Yeah. So when I'm saying, when I can't be honest, and you know what I quote unquote bleed green. Yeah. Put this fucking, this fucking community on my back at a time, right? Like I said, I was called myself the first person of color mm-hmm. to lose his life in this council war. That was some Frederick Douglass type shit, right? If I, when it's a tell, you know, you got some motherfuckers that claim to be neutral, but they're not neutral. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they obviously, which is nothing wrong with that. You know, what I mean, obviously prefer one or the other. It's coming out slamming Microsoft, never, you know, what I mean, I've never been that guy. I give credit where credit is due, but you know, what I'm saying it's a problem, you know, or you know, like, yo, what the fuck is going on here? That's why I come back to say maybe it's not the context of my character, maybe the colors of my skin, because again, 
mm-hmm. instead of, I don't have a problem with the dude, but not the muscle bound gamer. Mm-hmm. He go out and makes it still my, he said, crap, it's still my stick. <laughs> Everything that I've been saying. And they throw rose petals at his feet. Yeah. But again, you know, I, I don't, yeah. listen. Hey, your I, name I ain't slick enough, Z. That's why he, he's muscle bound gamer. Yo, what, 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 shout out to muscle bound gamer, man. Hey, yo, what's my man name? I stole this goddamn picture on. on oh, yeah. Instagram. I forgot so that. Oh, that one. Right. Yeah, man. Uh, you were rocking it right, right? You know what I mean? You're lucky he ain't a picture of his trophy. He ain't have his hat tilted the right way, man. Yeah, you're lucky he ain't a picture of his trophy wife. I just stole that shit, too, right? You know what I mean? He wasn't rocking it right. But again, he stole my stick. He said, hey, he wasn't rocking it right. And again, they throwing rose petals at his feet. But I'm saying, like, yo, it's a problem. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Bro, listen. Let, let, I'm saying this again for those of this joining. When I did that fucking meltdown Gamescom 2017, mm-hmm. I got the world's most popular. You know what I mean? That yeah, meltdown yeah. there. Yeah. A lot of people tell me wrong. You know, I, I have a great sense of humor. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm silly as hell. The no means to love me, right? Even behind him, I'm always bugging the fuck out. Yeah. But that was real. Like th- those are real guys. I wasn't crying, but those are real tears. That was yeah. real pain. <laughs> that wasn't no acting. Like exactly. you know what I mean? Like yeah. that was me. Like yo, what the Age of Empire? Yeah. Again, they had a better showing for a PC exclusive mm-hmm. than they did their own five dollar like, goddamn you know console. Yeah. And then I mean that's you know I mean it's crazy. I, I I think and then to go back to your point before we hit these questions or before we hit these bullet points from this this interview this john bomb interview is uh, to go back to your point about them wanting to just put out a powerful box and as far as the fidelity to quote unquote shut us up they're going to leave it to third party Mm -hmm. if you remember when the xbox one x was releasing z i don't know if you saw the one interview where phil did it with Eurogamer, and they asked me said well if you you have this powerful box What's going to come out there and make the box sing pretty much? And he said, and it, and it, it feels diplomatic, uh, 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 Congress type way. He said, you know what? First, a big up to uh, uh, Todd Cooper for following the channel. He, yeah. and Phil, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm just saying, yeah. In Phil's way, he said to Eurogamer, um, first party is important to the release of Xbox. And the closest thing, the first party that they had that they were responsible for was what? Super Lucky's Tale. But if you also remember, they had Shadow of uh, War it released at the same time. Like you said, they were re- they were relied on a third party and they kept pumping, Shadow of War looks great, Shadow of War looks great. Well, because Shadow of War had those microtransactions, the game bombed, essentially. Yeah, so you see no, what no. happens when you don't control your own narrative. And you'll see in this interview where Phil talks over and over again about relying on other people to do the groundwork for Xbox, but you don't control the narrative. And when you don't control the narrative and those third parties fuck up, then we lose out in the long run because you're not putting your best foot forward. And we really can't see how well this, this, this thing performs. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? What, what are your thoughts on that? Um, my, as far as my thoughts on it, I mean, Again, there are going to let me say this right. You got the conversation now with Microsoft leading the most powerful console, right? And here's the thing: I'm, I'm going to cover the spread here. Mm-hmm. Even if they are the most powerful, right? it's not going to make a difference. Why I say that? Because again, if you're dependent on third party, especially at the start of the you know, at the start we talk about power, fine, but I think that goes away because right now, like I said, the pro is kicking the X ass, right? Mm-hmm. Um. You're gonna run into an issue. Look, look at the type of games that they're putting out. And again, software would never be hard. Man. It's gonna come a time when Sony's gonna cut the line and they're gonna de- develop games from the ground up to take advantage of the PS5 hardware and the PS4. Home. Microsoft talking about they, they're counting on some software they have that's gonna tell what you know game, what systems you have. Was gonna either scale up or scale down. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, you know that's not gonna be games to de- develop from the ground up to take advantage of their hardware. It's not okay for what they say, what who say. It's like this. I'll give you an example. I might have a, a G6 2080 Ti. He may have a, a GTS 1080 or whatever. We can play the same game. Of course, it'll look a little bit shiny or whatever on my game. But it will look better if that game was developed from the ground up take, to take advantage of, Facts. Those, you know what I mean, that GTX 2080. It's going to be the same thing. Yep. So, so again, like I said, as far as power, you know, I'm going to say this again. They don't need the world's most powerful console because you see the type of games that they're producing. But if they do have it, fine. Cool. Mm-hmm. Sony games will still look better. Mm-hmm. And if and again, if it is more powerful, it's going to be slightly. Those things are going to be, you know, we're going to be dependent on digital foundry. They're both going to do 60 frames. You know what I mean? 
Um, you know, both could most likely do 40. We're going to counting shadows. Like, this year, as a while, like, come on. You know what I mean? <laughs> if your own force party, because this is the thing, so if your first party can't, you know, because that's what they put, your, your console is supposed to shine. That's been the, the law of gaming since forever. You know what I mean? How Turbo Graphics, Bunks Adventure took advantage of the Turbo Graphics 16 hardware or, 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 or Sonic took advantage of the Sega Master System. You know what I mean? That's just the fucking rule of law. And again, when you when you look across the street, check it out. Remember last year's E3 when Sony showed um, the last of the two the gameplay and Ghost of the They were arguing me up and down on the show, you know, uh, crapping them. Oh, that's that's that, that got to be the PlayStation Five hardware. Yeah, you know what I mean. And hit me up. That no, and, that, and then the digital finally came out said it was the PS4 Pro hardware. No one, listen. If you just said when they showed off uh, what it called Halo Infinite, if you just showed that trailer. If they didn't say it was on a whatever PC or whatever, if you that could have been a regular Xbox one. No one was scratching their head and said, "Oh, this that's now that's next generation right there." You know what I mean? It's a fucking huge difference. I understand that you know you have two different art styles, but they're fucking night and day. Like it's not even fucking close. Like you know what I mean? And again, it's kudos to goddamn Sony. You know mm-hmm. they have. Listen, I can't even lie. I've always had a PlayStation, but I give them so much credit for what they did in this generation. These motherfuckers was in a one bedroom apartment. They didn't have no power and electricity. They had to sell in fax machines, anything to keep you going. <laughs> and these motherfuckers doubled down on themselves and like literally came up with the Coupe de Gracie yeah. late round knockout. Like, you know what I mean? Like, God exactly. damn, you know what I mean? And yeah. and just you know, like this shit is like it is crazy. And like I say, kudos to them. I hope they don't get cocky because again, I, you know, as far as it is a business all about making money, you know what I mean? Uh, at the end of the fucking day, um, I hope they continue to do what they do as far as develop, you know, de- de- you know, on the, you know, great, you know, uh, exclusives wise. And they, they don't fucking, you know, fall off the bandwagon. Well, I, I, let me say this. Let me I'm, I'm going to say this. Um, I And I, I've made it known nothing against PlayStation. And this is coming from a pure X ex- well, f- former legacy Xbox game. Because in my eyes, y'all can call it how perfectly they want or, or not. Xbox gaming is dead. We're in the Windows gaming era. Now, this is coming from a guy that really ain't the biggest fan of PlayStation gaming. But I will say this. A lot of the stuff that you've seen PlayStation do this generation, I mean, not not this generation, this year, as far as signing with Microsoft and focusing on streaming, I don't think they really wanted to do it. I think they're only doing it because the market is dictating them to do it. Like, when you're on the market, it don't matter if you made a billion dollars last year if you don't make 1.1 billion you're considered to have a failing year so in order for them to keep up they got to do this so with that being said i don't know how i think they've learned a lot of lessons from the playstation 3 era but because they learned those lessons and the market is pushing them in a certain way i think that's why they're doing this would you agree or, or disagree Push up, you know, watch it, it say, watch me live. Oh, hold on, you're in the wrong show, bro. I said, click the link, man. Hold up, bro. They they over in my channel waiting for me to go live. Hold up, <laughs> hold on. Let me take it this right quick. He said, Why you watching the curse? Let me out on my channel. Wait, hold up, yo. Wait, hold up. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, big up to the chat. Is it turn the clapping sound down? I deeply apologize. A lot of people are following because, um, next gen's on, on the scene. <laughs> good and good that's good just good part good of the, um, the echo chamber. Yeah, that's part. Of, yeah, I, I I can't remove it. I just hate to. I hate to. Do it. I, I need. I need to give me a clapping sound, man. It sounds dope. But but I'm sorry. Um. So yeah, my question was, I don't think Sony really wanted to do the streaming thing. They definitely didn't want to have to do a memorandum of of of, of intention with Microsoft. I just think the market pushed them that way. Do you think that or or no? Possibly no. They're getting cocky. What do you think? Um. Are they getting? I'm sorry. Are they getting cocky? Yeah, you think they're starting to get cocky a little bit? You know, with Sony. Yeah, Sony. Yeah. Um, I don't know. If, I won't say they're getting cocky. No, but look, I'm gonna say this right. Well, you do got the new guy. You know, what I mean, he's doing. You know, he's doing more stuff coming. Right. Um, we're gonna see next year this E3. This this year, I'm sorry, next year's E3 yeah. and their and their messaging and you know what I mean. 
uh, and, 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 and going for it, if, if you're going to get that same cocky Sony, or even the price of the next question, they might, they might come on. If you want, they, might, they come on like, yo, you know what? If you want true next generation, goddamn exclusive, you're going to give us the $750. You know what I mean? Like I said, <laughs> you know, it depends, like I said, when they come out and say next year. Right now, Sony doesn't say much, to be honest with you. They don't say much. They just go out. Like I told you, it's crazy. You have one cup who's always in the media talking and this, that, and the other, and don't give a shit. Nintendo say shit out there on social media. Sony doesn't really say shit. But again, give their credit to their fans. Microsoft again, Phil's and Xbox Live parties, eating Doritos, drinking Mountain Dew, you know, <laughs> and playing Halo Land parties and all this crazy shit. And don't give us nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that shit, wow. You know what? Like, let me say this too. They said when that one guy said, next gen, well, you, you know what? You, you know, or even see, you know what? Well, you're part of the problem if you go out and buy their next generation console. What am I? I want to play Halo. I mean, I'm not Halo. I'm sorry. I want to play Gears. And, well, you can use your ex. I don't game on PC, right? And you know, guys know me. I'm a very shallow man. I want my fucking face face to melt. But where I will, I say more. Let's stick it to him. Is that I will buy the because you know the multiplayer. I will get all that on my PlayStation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, going forward, and then I will have the roles will reverse. Normally, I had the PlayStation just for the exclusives, and you know that I like. Now it will be just for. I will have the Xbox. I uh, probably would just keep the game pass, and when the exclusives come out, I just play them that way. And I'm nothing out, there's nothing out that I like. I just fucking cancel the goddamn server, just pick it up again. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just keeping it funky. You know, just going forward, I'm not going. I'm always going to have multiple goddamn consoles. I'm like this. I don't ever want to be one. If Sony come out or Microsoft come out with something out, and I don't have a console, like I want to go over there and play it. Like Nintendo, it was weird. Really, so he said, well, "Why you don't keep that same energy versus Nintendo? Because Nintendo's really making things that I like. I'm not really into that." Yeah. You know, platformers, that's not really my thing. You know, I mean, I always got to say, like, I've grown up with Mario, but Mario has no corner until they haven't grown up with me. That doesn't really appeal to me. And the same thing can lead true to, to Microsoft. You see how I feel about these games now that they put now. Mm-hmm. That shit doesn't really appeal to me. It's not my thing, you know? Yep. Big up to the 68 people watching. Um, Experience Xbox. Yep. But I'm not going to most really buy a lot of multiplats there. If any, I'm going to get all those on the PlayStation 5. So let's get into these these bullet points, man, because you didn't get a chance to hear the interview and you can you can hear it later. But this is the stuff that I think was most relevant to us legacy. I'm using I'm see I'm using my business talk us legacy Xbox people, meaning the former Xbox. But we ain't for this Windows gaming shit <laughs> uh, type of gamer. Um, and we could talk about this, chop it up a little bit here. First and foremost, um, at the very beginning of the interview. Phil said that we had ground to make up and he insinuated that they made up the ground that they needed to make up per their previous mistakes. He said that a minute going into the interview. What do you think about that? You think they've made up quote unquote enough ground to satisfy the base? No, here's the thing. Um, I think he's talking about from a financial mm-hmm. aspect in the mm-hmm. company making money. Mm-hmm. It's not about console gotcha. sales, not yep. about mind share. Yep. It's about AP the shooter was good, baby. It's about again them uh making money, you know, and 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 I you know, it's just sad I don't care about their money, but yeah. that's what he's talking that's about. He's talking about. Okay, yeah. very good point. Is it when you see the interview, the interviewer's talking, I think he's 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 directing it more towards mind share and the perception. And I think to you, I think you're absolutely right though. Um, to where he is directing the question towards, well, we made up a lot of ground in what we care about, which is mm-hmm. the money. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the next thing that he said is that he, he has a view that is focused on the industry instead of like the Xbox gamer. And that's like three minutes and 30 seconds into the interview. He says that he wants to be a leader for the industry and he's not talking so much about how he wants to lead for, again, the Xbox core. Your, your thoughts? Okay, so let me tell oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. He, he, he talks about how he wants to lead. He, he, he talks about leading the industry as far as bringing them into the forefront of gaming like for instance, I, when he, he's he's referring to all gamers, he's not talking about our okay. consumer base. Okay, yeah. to my bringing forth for the game, I, I guess is I think he's talking about leading the industry on this new wave of 
streaming and having your stuff in you know anywhere that you want it you know what i mean mm -hmm. you know having access to your game i think he, i think he's talking about in terms of that you know what i mean uh, i understand that you know what i mean by that look look example the xbox wasn't the first console to let you play games online but they kind of pirated and streamlined it right made it um popular amongst you know they made, you made it pop and i think he's talking about that uh having you know far streaming being able to take your games anywhere that you go. I think he's talking about as far as that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What he means by that. Okay. Hold on one second. AP the shoot. Hey, AP, I don't have I don't have it set yeah, I told up. Him, I told him you're not set up for that yeah, yet. Yeah, I'm not set up for that yet. But below, I have two donate buttons. One, and they'll both show on the screen. A, a, a dollar to dream, you know. Tremendous cream. Take a dollar to dream. I, I fucked that line up. That, that was supposed to be big. Anyway, next question. So he's phrased, this is what really got to me. This is when I almost chucked my phone outside of the window while I was watching this shit. Mm -hmm. He says that in order for Xbox to up to um, he tweeted the following. Thank you so much. Um, he says in order for Xbox to survive, they don't have to have a mind state of a competitive mind state. He said, I get it. There's some things we're going to compete in. But people like Z that want us to compete so hard, we don't have to do well and step on somebody else's toes in order to be successful. You know what I'm saying? He's saying that in order for them to be successful, he views it as in, how can I introduce something and then help you benefit it too? You know what I'm saying? Let, let me get his exact word. Hold on. Let me make things. Let I know what you're saying. Go, go ahead. Yeah, go they, ahead. they don't have to sell a bunch of consoles or whatever to be considered successful or crush out the competition. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's enough for everybody to eat in. That, again, this leads to them saying that, again, that they want their shit everywhere. Hey, you know what? Forza. They said, see, I think they said in the view with uh, Matt, what are you going to say? You know what? You know, what you make, you know, multi force a multi platform, you know, what's up to those guys? You know what I mean? You know, we have a great team over at, at, at turn 10. And they don't care. They want their shit everywhere. They're out there being nice. We're not trying to kill the competition. We're not trying to run you out of business, Sony. We're not trying to run you out of business, Nintendo. Hey, you want to put, you know, gears on your box? Sure, no problem. We would love for you guys to be able to, you know, Sony guys, to be able to play this game with us. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's all that it is, you know? So. Well, let me say this, right? Go ahead, go ahead. What's the biggest game in the world? Minecraft. Or no, okay. Fortnite. Fortnite. Between no, what's what, 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 No, Minecraft's the most popular, but the biggest game in the world is Minecraft, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Microsoft bought Minecraft. Now, they couldn't do nothing with, you know, because Minecraft was already on the PlayStation, so they couldn't take that. But Minecraft's Dungeons, right? Totally new IP. If it was about that, and which would have sold a lot of fucking, excuse my French, it sold a lot of uh, uh, Xboxes for them, right? If they had it exclusive to their platform, a Minecraft theme console, and I was screaming that for a while, right? And that they put in that ever, that lets you know right there that they want it everywhere. And it's not most it's about the box because, again, it's hard to say that Minecraft will sell more Xboxes than Halo or Gears. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because that is a huge community center. I met a couple people. I don't know. If, I don't know uh, anything about Minecraft, but they are a million years. Not gonna put them in business out there because they live. They go. Uh oh. And they had these Minecraft servers that were jumping off when the 360 era. That was a Minecraft. They made millions of dollars off in servers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That is a huge. They have a, what's called a Minecraft con. You know what I mean? Again, that speaks in volumes. You know what I mean? Again, like let's just be honest with you. Be honest with you guys. If Microsoft truly wanted to be dicks, they can totally how you say bone roasters and and put the whole gaming thing in 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 in, in the headlock. Yeah, it'd be it'd be yeah. nothing for them to go in there and you know I say for a, a house take over buy up all the shares in EA and have EA and Activision you know a couple of things because now there was talks about Microsoft acquiring Activision uh, a few years ago. You know what I mean? They they can they can do it. You know what I mean? Uh, hold on, I think this is my jail call me. What the hell's oh, going on here? <laughs> no, that's all right. Hello. Um, now to the people asking, yeah, my, my bad for the for the clapping. I've never anticipated uh, what's going on? that I'd have someone as popular as Z on my channel. Yeah, yeah I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. A thousand motherfuckers <laughs> come all at one time. But no, this is a great discussion. Thank you. And I believe I shut it off. Okay, I believe I shut it off. So I apologize for all that. Um, but 
while Z's on the phone, my, my thoughts on, on that is... Um, oh, oh, yeah. like um, He's erroneously yeah. framing competition as a negative thing. You know what I mean? Like, he's looking at competition okay, I got you know, as well, it, in. just solely being synonymous I got you with... Know, I, I got you know, to destroy uh, you, you mean like, uh, or you got to be destroyed half, like, in order for me to be the best. And that's not the case. Let's look at Coke and Pepsi. Um, Coke is slaying Ke- uh, um, Pepsi. But they're so, both doing we, good. We Pepsi's still around. Pepsi's not in danger. Pepsi Co is doing good um, the last so time. I checked the, the, check the market. You know what I'm saying? Like, so know. with that being said, that competition, <laughs> competition between the both of them, right, is what uh, uh, let me see. I'm just going I'm just going to delete it. Okay. So now it's gone. With that being said, and thank you for the follow. I appreciate the follow, uh, J-Cap. Now, with that being said, uh, oh, no, no. competition drives more innovation. Competition creates better end product for us. I just don't like the fact that every time you talk to yeah, folks, we talk about competition, no he's always bringing up this crab right. in the barrel scenario. All right. So with that being said, I, I, like a scenario that I have in my mind, uh, everybody out in the chat is you got two people running on the racetrack. They're do- two people doing a fifty yard dash. It's me and Z running, right? But, Z's yeah. killing me on the fifty yard dash. My shoe flies off. Now if Z is trying to break records and do everything for his fans, for his sponsors, and everybody that came out to cheer for him, that's supporting him. You think Z's gonna stop running and come back and help me put my motherfucking shoe on so I can run across the finish line? No, Z's gonna run across that finish line and support his sponsors and stuff like that. And that's what I don't think Phil is, is, is understanding that when you sit there and you base your platform off of always wanting to help everybody else, then you got the PlayStation people that are getting 150% because they're getting a hundred percent from their, from PlayStation and 50 from you. You got the Nintendo people that's getting 150%. They're getting a hundred percent and 50% from from you phil but when it comes to us we're just getting 50 percent because nobody else ain't giving us shit you know what i'm saying yeah. so I but think uh, yeah, you understand I, 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 I think it's like i said pr yeah um uh he says he talking to phil spencer who was he talking about man let's try i got some family members that be in jail sometime right <laughs> um but uh i'm sorry he um like that system a pr of them being friendly again and say hey we want their stuff on their box you know what i mean they're not trying to keep anything exclusive to them even down to the engines they buy i don't care if microsoft will go out there i won't be surprised again if if but that's not what's his name but that's the hoodie but i'm if their next game again is not a multi-platform game it was if, trust me if it was a triple a big and they put someone in most likely you're they're going to publish it on another platform i will not be fucking surprised by this at all like i just if those are just joining Psychonauts, uh, that developer, even though it was Slater, Microsoft bought back the, the publishing rights for $13 million mm-hmm. and still was going to put it on the PlayStation 4. So they don't care. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. $13 million. Gosh, that's, that's, that's crazy. Um, with that being said, yeah. next point. Yes. He said in the interview, this was around seven, seven minutes into the interview, that he wants the most. Now, I think this is positive. This is positive. One of the only positive things I think it got out of this interview, but he said he wanted a powerful console and he, but he's actually agitated because he feels like people are playing with his words on social media because, you know, he said he hasn't claimed that it's the most powerful console and his words, he's saying, I don't know what Sony has. I don't know what Sony's coming out with. I would like to say it's the most powerful console, but I can't say that yet until I know what they got. But he said that my aim is, his aim is to have the most powerful console. So in contrast to the rumors that we've heard, Z, what are your thoughts about that? That he aims to have the most powerful console? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, let me tell you something. I'm going to say this again, right? And we talked about it earlier. It doesn't matter, yeah. again, if they have the most powerful console. A, you see the type of games that they're putting out, right? And B, because, again, there there's no generation left behind, and there's not going to be, how you say, software can be out beat hardware what i mean by this that is that if they're making games exclusively going forward that's going to run on all their platforms right and they're talking about they're depending on the software to tell what type of console you have to up a little downscale it again mm-hmm. um sony first party games are still going to look better because again 
uh, the wild Sony is going to say cut the line and they're going to develop games from the ground up to take advantage of the PlayStation 5. Just the way if I have a 1070 or you have a, a cheap GTX 1080i, of course, mine's may look a little prettier, a little shinier, but it would look a lot better if it was, you know, developed from the ground up to take advantage of that GTX, you know, 2080i, whatever the case may be. So with the same thing going forward. Like I said, again, you know, and, and both consoles next generation, uh, they're both going to give us 4K 60, you know, mm-hmm. and we're going to be counting one maybe, you know, the shadows. Like, I, I, like, like you, you can also get something called diminished returns. Like, if they're going to be, they, they're going to be 1.5, 1.3. Things going to be neck and neck. You know what I mean? That's just, uh, you know, we got the world. That's just, uh, how you say, a, 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 same thing with Sony. What 1080p makes you a better, a better game? That's just for PR. And, you know, yeah. most they don't know okay. no better. Because I'm telling you, I, don't, I can't tell the difference between a native 4K or upscale 4K or dynamic 4K, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I can't tell you for graphics. Now, res- I was this again, resolution does not give you better graphics. Resolution gives you a sharper image. Yeah. It's the textures and the shades that gives you the graphics. And again, look at the type of games that they're putting out from the recourse to the crackdowns to the bleeding edge. And you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they're not really, you know. Well, I, I, and I think, you know, and, and I'm right. guilty of this because I'm the one that laughed at it when it was formally. Uh, uh, put out there by Mark Cerny. Wait, hold on, hold up, hold up. Oh, He's still talking shit. He said, "What's good, chat? See, you got to get your channel together. This ain't my channel. If you listen to the video, I said, join me live right now. Click the link down below. <laughs> come over to Mighty Mo's channel. He fusses with nothing, oh. man. I'm gonna come over here, but see, shit, man. I was older than this. I was about to leave, man. <laughs> I got 15 Who minutes left. <laughs> my man, uh, uh, twenty seven holes, good twenty two or some shit. Your holes, twenty two. I was about to leave, man. Shit, man." I got 15 minutes for lunch. Man, you, you ain't but leave the link or nothing. I say click. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Man, that was on my channel. I'm sorry, yeah. but yeah. Shout out to you, good brother. Thank you for coming over. Um, So, let me see followers. I'm just going to click that. That way, nobody's going crazy. Okay, that's good. No, I, I just had to adjust some things. So, yeah. I mean. Okay. That ain't work. No, I'm sorry. I'm just trying. I'm, I'm just trying to uh, get this set up to where all that noise ain't coming, and it ain't working. I don't hear anything. They they can hear it in the in the stream because it plays oh, playing through. Yeah, I, I'll oh, fix well, that. Oh, somebody joining, clapping on stuff. Yeah, all the, yeah. Oh, just mute it. You just uh, hit it. Click it off. Yeah, yeah, I just clicked it off. The link below sent us to your channel. The link in the comments sent you here. What Andy link P- below? Andy what, PG Gaming. No, it didn't. And link on my. I look- Oh, did I put leave my own link? And hold up, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be fucking in. Hold up. No, hey, yo, I, his, no, no, his no, no, is always a question. Uh, yo, hey, yo, no, <laughs> y'all can't get that, bro. I got that shit pinned. Go to my channel right now. I got Mighty Most channel pinned. Mm, that's funny. But with that said, uh, yeah, I mean, when Mark Cerny was talking about that rapid pack math, yeah, it's like it, it just connects to your point. It ain't. It don't matter what they do because they haven't dedicated. Their developers, as far as fidelity is concerned, you know what I'm saying. So, mm. uh, all right. So the next thing that he said is that he's focused on, and we kind of touched on this a little bit. He said this at around 20 minutes and 30 seconds into the video. I did a lot of note taking. Okay. He said focused on discerners getting the message out instead of. Microsoft doing the heavy lifting. So what he was talking about was things like X Cloud, how they approach the Xbox One X. His way of creating mind share is going to the people that um, don't like Xbox, putting it in their hands, getting their getting them to judge it and go out to the masses. Now, before I get your answer, this is my thoughts on it. I think that's a flawed approach because, as we all know. Gaming is a very selfish and tribal ho- hobby. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm more catered towards PlayStation, whether I'm a news journalist or not, I'm going to find holes to punch at, right? So if if I got discerners doing all my heavy lifting, like with the Xbox One X, it didn't help the Xbox One X. People got it and they were looking at it, playing with it and throwing the foam around like they did on um, GameSpot and all that other stuff. Like, do you think that that would be a winning, even though it didn't work in the past, you think that'll be a winning strategy? Or why do you think that's his strategy? Wanting to put stuff in people's hands that don't like the product now. Um, hold on. 
Mm-hmm. You, I heard the last part because your mind. I don't know what for whatever reason your thing keep cutting out on oh, my, my end. Bad, my bad. My bad. You said same. Let's see the last part again. I'm no, sorry. I was saying that um, he his strategy of wanting to put these products and premiere them and cater them for the people that don't even like Xbox. Now that's that's his strategy. That's his approach. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that that's his main way of trying to gather mind share. Not doing what we want him to do on stage, which is show us something, show us glimpses of stuff, because he said that, well, I'll get into that later, but he, he, do, he doesn't want to do what we're asking him to do. His goal for getting Mindshare is putting these things that he's promoting in the people's hands, like the game spots and the IGNs, who may not be favor, favorable to him, and he thinks that's going to build him Mindshare. What are your thoughts on that? Um, He's trying to, he, he just keep throwing shit at the wall, see what sticks, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Hey, 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 hey! Like, be like, hey, like, like, he had to, he had to uh, cut. He got the, he had the buck dancing. Hey, no, 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 no. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what you call. He got the buck dancing, man. Feel like that motherfucker buck dancing, cutting the jig, man. That's what that's about. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah. Like that's what that's all this. Like that's all that he's trying to do. Like, hey, we're the good guys of gaming. We're not, you know, because everybody has this negative conversation when you think about Microsoft or whatever. You know, when it comes to them, whatever they did in the PC world, the Apple, I don't know. But you know they, you know they've always got this negative segmentation. So they again they want, again they want this shit any and everywhere. You know what I mean? So, so what better way of doing that? We're gonna come out there smiling. Hey, you want Forza? Hey, you ain't got to buy an Xbox. Fine, but you want to play our game? Yeah, yeah. Just just pick it up wherever it's at. And that again, like how you mentioned earlier, we talked about in previous podcasts how rare came out and said the reason why the see if these has the art style that it has is because they were think during development they were thinking about what if we port this to phones and tablets right so mm. if they're thinking about it for their game of the generation right <laughs> then what's to say they're not going to pass that same theory on to the other games they have developed yep all right so that's a perfect segue to the next thing that he said in the um interview he said that um announcing games before they are complete and you are ready to show gameplay is quote unquote head faking. He wants dates and gameplay before revealing stuff. He's full of shit, bro. <laughs> I, mean, I don't even make any fucking shit because again, that gets people excited and want them, you know, about the future. It's not about delays. That's never been the thing. Oh, something's been delayed or this, that, and the other. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's about again, you know, because delays happen. That's just the nature of the building, uh, nature. Of the, I'm sorry, the business. Yep. It's the cancellations again, and not having anything to replace those games. I mean, delays happen all the time. Like I said, that's a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> he said what he said that he said. You know, he's like it's it's head faking. I'm saying what? So he's making he made it abundantly clear that we're asking for this. You're not going to get it, and. I think he even went a step further. You let me know what you think about this. I think he went a step further, and I think that's why he didn't show gears on the stage. I think he didn't show gears on the stage because I think he wanted to make it poignantly clear to us, the hardcore, yeah, gears is coming out. It's right around the corner, but I'm not bending the knee to you motherfuckers. I'm, I'm not. You go watch IGN if you want to see this hardcore stuff. We're going to show you what we're going to show you. What do you think about yeah, that? I, no, I, that, that? No, I just look at this that they're going to show one of them dolls that's inside the Xbox. I think it's coming out in September. It's for they have that plan for the big hype for that show. You know what I mean? I don't even think they're doing games coming this year. They might. I don't know. Um, but I th- think they just didn't have much to show. And they're going to show that ass off something to show. We might see the the Gears, the uh, single player story in one show inside Xbox and right or something right before launch. Or, and then you actually see the multiplayer. I'm not talking about that. Uh, horror mode, talking about like the you know the king of the hill. You know they would probably say that for another show. Just milking it out and stretching it, you know, stretching it out. That's all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but they had, but they had gameplay. Z, they had gameplay of Gears. Why do you think they didn't show it? On because the again, they just they doing it for they they, they show again because they, they just milking it out. We gonna show you the horror mode on this show. Okay. If they do another show, here he go to he go to story the, the campaign. Yeah. And here if it gets another show, here's the the the, the, the multiplayer aspect of it. Mm-hmm. All right. So I got a couple more questions for you, Z. All right, but the, the, but the, this one is a, I I I I'm very interested in your answer on this one. So I I, I didn't have the timestamp of where he mention this but in the interview phil mentions that now and it's a big thing on social media now because people are putting out links phil says that 
E3 isn't good because Sony isn't there. Now, that's a little clickbaity because here's what he meant in context. He meant they brought up, they were talking about the certain legislation that's out now. Like there's going to be legislation on loot boxes and there's mm. more talk about doing stuff on violent gangs and, the, you know, all this legislation that's, infic- that's affecting gangs right now. And Phil said that he thought it was important that coming into this E3, that he presented games in a way that showed the world that games aren't all about headshots and kills, right? And he said that the reason why that he thinks that E3 isn't good as it could have been is because Sony weren't wasn't there and EA weren't there to help him give that type of presentation. Do you what, what do you think of what he meant by that? Do you think he meant exactly what he said, or what are your thoughts about that? In period, that uh, overall, that he thinks that the purpose of E3 now should be to showcase that games are more than headshots and kills. Bullshit! It just he ain't got them games, bro. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like uh, that's that in itself. That, not himself, but you show, but you show Cyberpunk's mm. twenty seventy seven. You know what I mean? Or you show any other multiplat, whether it's been you know. The battlefields or the call of Vegas, he is full of shit. <laughs> Phil is a goddamn liar, uh, and it's not funny. Really, it's not funny. It's uh, not funny uh, because crap revealed to you in your interview. I think was that yesterday, Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, he inter- he revealed to you in your interview yesterday. He read you the communications that he got from Phil, where Phil. It's like the ultimate worst movie. We joked about this. Phil reminds me of dude off of, uh, what was that movie? Goddamn, Usual Suspects. Where dude walk out of the the, the, the precinct, slew footed, and then as he's walking away and he got him, you know, it's over. He did all of a sudden his, his, his walk straight, his wop straighten out. Phil gives, and I think he's aware of this. People that are slick and they're, they're sly, they understand the perception that they give off and they use it to, to the best of their ability. Mm-hmm. Phil comes off as this guy that's that that means well and that may be a little awkward and he means to do well but he may just bumble it a little bit but that's not what Phil is when we were getting the hardcore games that we wanted Phil was behind helping us get those games mm-hmm. so how the fuck all of a sudden now that he's in charge he don't know what we want it's not about what we want anymore. No, it's, it's about what he wants. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, again, uh, it's, uh, uh, like I said, they know what we want. Is that that's not profitable for them? Mm-hmm. Like I said, you got to be careful. Not just you know, not you, but yeah. you know what these guys out there praising Phil. Yeah, and, and you know, and thank you for Lucky Tales and games like this. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not being facetious. Like yeah, this no, don't really true. happen. Yep. It really happened. And then again, and I always got to explain myself. The fact that they made so much money, two point one seven five billion dollars, you know, the most Xbox that you know have they ever made. You know, I mean, they, 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 everything's up for them, right? Yeah. And not giving us nothing, you know. So we got to get saying kept them on a diabetic diet, and we made any three billion dollars. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's not an incentive to go out there and do better and or give us better content. You know what I mean? Like that's crazy yeah. in itself. And then you got people again when you say quote unquote in this echo chamber and. Like it's like reading the Bible, right? I yeah. swear to God, you and I can read the Bible when you walk away with to- totally different, different yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. What Noah had, he had on high, high top leather sandals. I said Noah had on low top leather sandals. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nothing's precise. Like you know, mm-hmm. everybody's taking these things. What Phil said was, look, mm-hmm. Phil said they aiming. Yeah. Like, let you know, right? It's gonna be more like, come on, stop with that yeah, shit. Stop, it's not even yeah. about that. Yeah. Like, now here's the question. Fuck, fuck Phil in that interview. Yeah. <laughs> what do we do right now? Because I'm sick of his shit. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. What can the Xbox community do now to get the fucking put the train back on the track and them going out that motherfucker and you know how you saying quote unquote being the behemoth? Um here okay. I personally don't think well, okay, let's let, let's think about it in an alternate dimension or something like that. All right. It what Xbox would have to do is we know that it's going to take them time to develop this stuff, right? Not a problem. I think what they, and this is stuff that I've suggested, is that Phil doesn't, even though he's a lot of this shit, is he, he's being a snake oil salesman. If you listen, when you listen to this interview, you'll realize Phil doesn't know what he doesn't know. And when you're in that position and you have so much outreach or you have so much, so much connections to an audience that is craving for more and you're not providing it, 
then you need to get a right hand man or a right hand woman, whatever, whoever to help guide you and fill in the gaps where you may not understand what your, what your core wants. Right? So hmm. what I'm basically trying to say is I think he needs to get someone closer to, to the hardcore. You know what I'm saying? Like get mm-hmm. someone out there that just their job is to communicate with the hardcore and grab everything that they want and put it together in a package and present it and work on how they can get that out to the people as soon as possible. Then also too, he needs to revamp his marketing strategy, whether it's Aaron Greensburg or whoever's in charge of marketing, it needs to be scrapped. It's horrible. They need to have a marketing strategy if they want to have it for the hardcore. I mean, for the um, casuals, have it for the casuals. But then you need to have a marketing strategy catered to the hardcore. I understand they don't want to, quote unquote, split up the community. But you have, it's like a car group, a group, a, a Honda. There are different models that are for different types of people. You can't have the same commercials for everybody. And that's what Microsoft has to do. So they have to cater their message to the specific demographics within their consumer base. And last but not least, um, they just got to produce the games. Like I said, Phil was behind us getting the games that he knows that we liked. Some of them didn't always hit the mark. But if you got billion dollar checks going out there, if you're not got a seat at the table, you can take more risks than you ever could. Now, we don't expect you to, you know, do more than you did with the 360. We understand that you got to deal with Satya, but God damn it, this ain't it. So you just got to get in the fucking studio and pump out them hits. That's all. So those are the three things I think they need to do. I think they need to get someone closer to the core that can provide the feedback needed. I think they need to revamp their marketing and then they just got to, they just got to dedicate themselves to, to putting out the hardcore shit period. Mm-hmm. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, um, you already put uh, that's, uh, I gotta go get my, uh, okay. I said earlier, okay. it was a Um, but listen, um, yeah, I'm gonna say this. I'm, I'm gonna leave this in closing, right? Before I get the hell about it. Right. Yep. Um, shout out to those guys that, or shout out to some of you guys, like my man, Thomas Franks. And yes, Yes. And uh, that's now C, you know what I mean? Because he's like, come on, see you Xbox guy, man. You know what I mean? He's beyond me. Well, see, look, Phil said this right here, like, and I'm, you know, and they now are waking up and seeing that there is an issue, that there is a problem, and Microsoft unwilling to, uh, hey, say quote unquote, give us what they want, what we want, and they're more than capable, of, well, you know, me too, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Especially when they're making money, the money's not the issue, right? You're not losing money. So you can't say, well, you know, they well, they care so favor because they're not making it. Listen, I hate when motherfuckers get to talking about a company's money. Like, you know what I mean? But it is what it, they're making money. And we still, again, this is E3. What are we talking about? E3. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. Since 2000, we're still talking about Gears, Forza, Halo. <laughs> you know, uh, I, and look, I, I know it's like a fucking, <laughs> hey, bro, like, look, listen, listen, man, this is a motherfucking nightmare, here, wow. right? You know what I mean? Yeah, no, 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 no. Two hundred fifty thousand. We can do this in our sleep. Like, yeah, I'm looking like P yeah. Rock right now. You know what I like, mean? I said the same thing last week. I feel like P Rock now. I feel his yeah, pain, yeah. man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> that in itself speaks in volumes or two. Yep. And it's not like I said. It's how you say it's. A so real moment because again, we you know, like like you know, you do read for you no know, your console just gaming as you know as a sports team and. Want Microsoft to go out there and compete? You know why? It's gonna make Sony get on their fucking A game and go out there and compete. Absolutely. But it's no fun just for gaming if one can just kicking the shit out of the other, yeah. and then you, I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. You're gonna get this cocky goddamn Sony again with that shit. You know, you guys don't need Rob. You don't need Rumble in your controllers. That's so dated. You only you don't need no force feedback in your controllers. <laughs> you gonna use this six axis. You gonna wave that light ass controller at the screen. You know what I mean? You're gonna get that shit like that. You don't want that. That in itself is unhealthy for gaming. Because Nintendo is not going to push Sony. You know what I mean? Nintendo does their own thing and kudos for them. You know what I mean? That's what they found. They fucking lane. It is what it is. But when you think about, you know, us, the gamers that are above, you know, adults that are above a certain age, either the Xbox or PlayStation, that's been a, a battle that's been brewing since, you know, 2001, more or less. Especially really took came to like in 2005, 2006, and that E3, 2005. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So in 14, 15 years, and for to one company just to fucking tuck, they tell us, hey, I give up. And I'm just put this shit like that shit is crazy. I, I get Nintendo shit. Nintendo got this shit kicked out of with the GameCube. Came back with the Wii. Got the shit kicked out of with the Wii. You came back with the Switch. These motherfuckers say, you know what? Throwing her up. Fucking hell, come here. We're going to put our shit everywhere. You know what I mean? 
Like that's crazy to me, man. You know what I mean? But listen, Moss, thank you for having me, good brother. Oh, I appreciate man, it, man. Um, man, I guess I'll meet you when I get back. Okay, and talk a little bit behind the scenes, and um, to my my Twitch family, I promise I will be. No, I may just make my. I don't know what the hell, man. Uh, but I got to get back on hey, Twitch. You got to do something for Twitch because these motherfuckers came out in droves. Oh yeah, man. for sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. <laughs> I'm going to get back over here. Shout out to my brother AP the shooter. You know what I mean? Overdone me. Shout out to everybody. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get listen. It's just like it's been it's a lot of content going on. I'm on this show, I'm on that show, and um. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to actually. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna get a little bit more professional. I'm gonna set a schedule. Yeah, I, I got bad sleeping half smalls. I don't go to bed till about five in the morning. Yeah, I look like part of you know. What I mean, so you can see crushed up fucking Red Bulls and shit all over the desk. <laughs> you know, I don't even smoke cigarettes, but I got a bunch yeah. of box ports. You know, what I mean, I gotta get back you know, on a, a, a schedule. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I try actually doing. Do, do, and you off work, so we start yeah, doing exactly. shows, make it happen, man. Yep, but definitely. Listen, I, I'll be back on tonight, though. Yep. The multiplayer podcast. You guys are not going to want to miss that. Yes, sir. That's See, this is a good. This is a good primer for the multiplayer. You know. Yeah. I mean? You know what I mean? Yes, I might just go early on Twitch on this and just that. You know what I mean? But yeah, so I'll be back on tonight on the multiplayer podcast. Looking for the foolery and fucking and Baron screaming about. <laughs> listen, I've been trying. Listen, I've been trying not to find Baron this even for this goddamn. Oh yeah, show. yeah, yeah. Baron yeah. will be there front and center. <laughs> Baron will be there front and center with that lie that was night. But now I'm out of here, man. Thank you for having me, good brother. No problem. No problems. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, and with that said, people, um, we're, we're going to get ready to close out. But I want to thank everybody for showing up. Um, thank you for dealing with that loud clapping. <laughs> I never anticipated the crowd. But thank y'all so much. And, and, and with that being said, man, I just want everybody to understand that I am a legacy Xbox guy, right? I liked the legacy console, like what they brought with you know, Jade Empire, Armed and Dangerous, and big ups to Armed and Dangerous being backwards compatible. I always got the memories, baby. You know, unforgettable. <laughs> I got all the memories. You know, Mass Effect, them helping to bring that to fruition. So it's not about bashing Xbox. I'm not bashing Xbox. I have a problem with Windows gaming. This is only an Xbox and, and, and name only. And what I got to say to, to my brethren, I still want to damage control this, right? that are upset with people being critical of it. And even the Phil, even the Phil that want to unfollow people now and be in his own echo chamber to be in his own silo. Phil, you got to understand that without the mind share, I know you, I know you wish you could just flip a switch and get rid of people like me and Z out of the whole equation. But without us providing that mind share, you are really damaging the potentiality of your success. I just gave you a good example. When you have a cell phone, 99.99999% of those features, the casual don't ain't going to use that shit. But it's the, it's the hardcore people that will demonstrate those features that make the casual go, ooh, look at that shiny object. I want that too. And Microsoft, without us doing that same thing, us looking at your shiny product and, and, and showing it to the masses, you're really hampering your success. If you continue to go this downward spiral where you're doing E3s pretty much by yourself and you're still getting these low ratings and, the, and, and these low accolades, right? And, and, and nobody's liking what, what you're doing in, in, in the direct. You're going to do something in the industry that we call, you're going to do something that is called reputational risk. And Phil, you know what that is. And if you get too much reputational risk, you're not going to be successful because here's the difference between you and Google Stadia. And I'm going to say this and I'm shutting up and I'm closing out. Google Stadia may have its issues like with data caps and some other things, but the product, the product is in my hand, baby. When I did the project stream, that shit was van glorious, right? Your product still isn't in our hand. And what Google has at their advantage is Google's likability is better than yours even though they're just getting on the gaming scene. It's better than yours. See, when a new product comes out, there's always hope and aspiration. But when it's a current product and you're looking at it and you look at what's happened prior and you look at the history and the history is not good, then you have a problem. See, this is what you're not understanding, Microsoft. You, uh, Google can afford to give us little bits and pieces here and there because they're selling aspiration. You are no longer in the aspiration selling game. You're already on the market. 
And because you're already in the market, it's time for you to show and prove. Phil, you got to understand this, man. I think a lot of the stuff, a lot of the things that Crap revealed in his interview with Z, the communication, some of the communications that I've seen, you're selling us a lot of snake oil. Fine, whatever. Your business, your business babble, as we call it, is up to a thousand. It's up to a thousand, G, as my, my homie, your boy, would say. It's up to a thousand, right? But here's what you're not understanding. Is that next to that business babble, you're supposed to actually have something that is going to invigorate your hardcore. You had Gears 5 gameplay there. And you don't want to show it on the big stage because instead of being the head of Microsoft, you want to act like you're the head of the ESRA, all of gaming, and show gaming in a good light to senators. You're putting yourself in a big risk, Phil. And what I'm telling my Xbox brethren or legacy Xbox brethren or current Windows gaming brethren, y'all better get used to it now. Because if this falls flat on its face, it's because Phil didn't recognize those issues and jumped ahead of that curve. And if this thing starts to run into trouble, someone like Satya is going, pull that plug <laughs> without a shadow of a doubt. Because because Satya is all about consistent growth and revenue. So if y'all continue to follow on this path, that's why I say differentiate this from Xbox gaming. This is Windows gaming. So y'all better get used to it now. Xbox gaming is dead. It's dead. And if Phil wants Windows gaming to survive, he's going to have to understand that. That he's using the Xbox moniker. There's a history there. You're well, not do it producing. live. Fuck it. Oh, shit. Do it live. <laughs> Thank you, Graphic God, for following. Xbox has a history. If you're if you're li- if you're leaning on that history, then you got to produce to those history standards. And then when you fall on your face, all I'm gonna say is I tried to tell you, homie. Tried to tell you. But with that being said, I want to thank the 57 that are still here. I'm done. I appreciate it. Please follow me here if you haven't followed me on Twitch. The reason why I'm broadcasting here is because YouTube is cutting up, but you can go to my YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, MM2K, is MM2K at YouTube. Go follow me there. Um, and once we get things straight there, we'll be live streaming there as well. With that being said, I want to thank everybody, all of y'all out there in the chat, everywhere for following us today. Great show, great discussion with the almighty Next Gen 720. Follow him and his channel. We're going to have multiplayer. It's going to be fire today. So with that being said, I want to thank everybody for coming through. And as always, you have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Oh, yeah, and follow us on PNTS.com. P as in Paul, N as in Nancy, T as in Tom, S as in Sam, network.com. PNTSnetwork.com. Go to our E3 uh, 2019 tab. And then we got constant E3 2019 coverage along with live streams like this. And as well as we're, we're hosting Z's channel too. So go there. We got Z's material. We got everything there. You're going to love what you see there. And check out the, the website. And with that being said, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.